Ovarian cancer hysterectomies becoming informed about your options. A hysterectomy is not often a procedure that needs to be performed urgently, except in the case of cancer. Therefore, a woman considering the procedure should take time to investigate all her options, including other possible treatments. There are now new treatments for conditions that previously would have required a hysterectomy. Women advised to have a hysterectomy for a non-cancerous condition before being offered more conservative treatments may find it beneficial to seek a second opinion. Deciding whether to have a hysterectomy can be a difficult and emotional process. By becoming informed about the procedure, women can confidently discuss available options, concerns and wishes with their doctor, and make a decision that is right for them. If you, too, have been questioning the necessity of a surgery for fibroids, prolapse, incontinence or any cellae repairs, you will be reassured to know you have every right in doing so. The decision to undergo surgery of any kind is often difficult, so it is often useful to explore other alternatives before moving forward. Women, especially around the time of menopause, are too often advised to have major gynecological surgery for minor conditions that can be significantly improved with natural alternatives. Every 10 minutes, 12 hysterectomies are performed in the United States. That is over 600,000 per year, of which only 10% are due to cancer. This surgery most often does not correct the diagnosed problem and instead results in new afflictions. And, argues Dr. Stanley West, author of the hysterectomy hoax, 9 out of 10 hysterectomies are unnecessary. We need to ask? How have these surgeries impacted the quality of life for women? Nowhere in the gynecological literature did the study address the number of women for whom sex had become painful or impossible. Nowhere were there studies to track the number of marriages that failed or were severely compromised as a result of these post-surgical complications or alcoholism or drug addiction resulting from debilitating chronic pain. Women who have been hysterectomized experience a myriad of negative side effects, including chronic pain and fatigue, depression, and pain during sex. These are only a fraction of the long list of unwanted symptoms reported by women after surgery. So, if you decide, or have already decided, that surgery is not an option, you are probably asking yourself, now what? I have asked myself this same question. But, I will tell you, there is no quick fix. As women we must understand our bodies to care for them in a positive way. The more I review this subject the stronger I feel about informing women before they make this important decision. Prevention is the key and hormone balance is the answer. For the most part those who are encouraged to have their uteruses removed are likely suffering from estrogen excess which is explained well by Dr. John Lee. Balancing hormones involves working on a few fronts using simple strategies. 1. Evaluate your hormones using a saliva test, determine what is happening in your body, ask yourself the question, are you estrogen dominant? Use a saliva test to find the answer. 2. Optimize your diet by lowering your insulin levels. Over two-thirds of North Americans are overweight. This extra weight increases insulin levels causing estrogen dominance to increase. Eat 40 30 30 3. If the saliva test shows the need, use a natural progesterone cream in the process of rebalancing your hormonal system. 4. Exercise to reduce excess estrogen and to eliminate toxins. 5. Supplement with wisdom using our hormone balancing program of fiber, indoles, EFA, multi, fruit and veggie essence, calcium, 